This is an excerpt from my novel, Certain Exposure, in which a character, Lee Chu, is trying to think about how to come out to her brother, Kim Seng. Lee Chu started the search with the sleeper's maddening certainty of something half imagined, half remembered. If the method could only be found, the rest would follow in perfect order. And so they play acted. They made and ripped up careful plans. They grappled wordily over tactical details. His place or hers? Should they both be there? How to get him away from Pauling? Or might she be a calming influence? Nuru began to suspect it was like cracking an egg. The angle of attack could make no difference. It all came in the end to the same sticky spillage. No decision was made, no strategy was formulated. And she wasn't entirely surprised when Lei Chu called her one day to say she had simply blurted the lot out, and it had been a disaster. Lei Chu could not find the energy to blame herself for playing it wrongly. Merely conveying the basic facts to Kim Seng turned out to be mind-bendingly difficult. Confusion pinched her brother's face. What did she mean she and Nurul were more than friends? No matter how good her friends, at some point she had to find a husband and settle down. How could she settle down with Nurul? They could not be, like, married to each other. Did she even understand in the first place what married couples did? It didn't make sense to say that about two women. What kind of rubbish was she talking Lei Chu fell into an angry and embarrassed silence at the patronising stupidity of this. Did she honestly have to explain to him that you didn't need a cop to do it? This was not what she had wanted to talk about. It, it was nothing, she muttered. It had been a mistake, she tried to take it back. But he seemed suddenly, cheeks reddening, to comprehend well enough. This was some kind of dirty, sexy business she had been taught by a perverted Malay. How could Lei Chu be so shameless? doing this kind of disgusting thing and then telling her brother about it. They had failed to bring her up properly, he and Ma. She would break Ma's heart. She would kill Ma with her selfishness. His voice rose in horror as it occurred to him. Lei Chu had even brought this woman into Ma's home to take part in this sick nonsense. What if she tried anything funny with Ma? Lei Chu was an ingrate. She should not call herself a Tio. So be it, she decided and walked away. It was also miserably predictable in hindsight. She told Nurul that his disapproval was too stupid to get upset about, and it followed that his approval was not worth seeking. She had lost nothing but a lie, the lie that he had ever really cared for her. Pining after it would only be weakness. She told Nurul this, and she believed it too, or felt that she should, neatly defining the ragged ache in her chest out of existence. She had barely replaced the receiver when Kim Seng himself telephoned to elaborate upon her defects. She must end this disgraceful behaviour now. How would she have children? She wouldn't, she replied coolly. Every woman wanted children. She would regret this. She didn't think so. Had she bothered to consider that Ma wanted grandchildren? She pointed out that Ma already had grandchildren. He lost any veneer of patience. How could she choose this perverted Malay woman over her own brother? She was letting the family down. She hung up on him.